Okay, then moving right along then to meeting open to the public. We will talk about item 17, presentation of a proclamation proclaiming September 2014 as Adult Literacy Awareness Month. So what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to call up Penny Johnson, uh, Senior Librarian, to say a few words about Adult Literacy Awareness Month and our efforts at our library, and then I'll read the proclamation and we can take a picture. We have two speaker cards. Are, do you want to speak on this subject now or after we... That's that's great. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you for uh, listening today. This September, we're proud to be celebrating the 30th anniversary of the California State Library Literacy Services. Public libraries throughout the California, throughout the state, offer free, confidential one-to-one -one tutoring in adult basic education, funded in part by state library grants. The library offers a comfortable, non-threatening, and enriching atmosphere for learners, not to mention extended hours seven days a week. Outreach to adults is the focus of library literacy services because reaching an adult can affect the entire literacy needs of the family. While children can attend public school, often adults have nowhere to turn. Library literacy programs recognize that the ability to read and write and communicate clearly affect the productivity, happiness, and quality of life of every Pleasanton resident. Now, I say that Pleasanton Library offers this program, but in actuality, it is the work of Pleasanton people this is a volunteer-based program, and nothing could be accomplished without the hard work and dedication of our wonderful volunteer tutors. Pleasanton Reads currently has 77 tutors working with 101 students, and that's not counting our open ESL classes. Um, however, we have over 130 students waiting for instruction. The need for English instruction exploded when our local adult school closed. And to address this, the library opened English as a second language conversation classes. We started with one, and this fall we may actually open our seventh. I say may because all of these classes are predicated on the willingness of Pleasanton residents to give up their personal time to help others. We're extremely proud of our students and their tutors. And if I might ask now everyone who's in the audience who is a participant in this program, if you would stand, students and tutors, please. And we applaud you. <laughs> but I don't want you just to hear from me. Please let me introduce three students of ours, Nilofer Azim Zadigan, Wen Hui Zhang, and Jenny Guzman. Thank you very much. Hi, and thanks for giving us this opportunity. This is Nilofer. I have been coming to these classes for about three years now. It has given me <coughs> it uh, not only improved my English and my communication skills uh, significantly, and also uh, given me opportunity to find many new friends and uh, <coughs> blend into society. This program is fantastic and uh, is great and is run by tutors and also the management team. I hope this program continues and hopefully we can get more resources to improve this program and also enhance it. Thanks for your support.
Good evening. My name is Wen Hui Jiang. Thank you for giving me a chance to tell my story. I'm a new immigrant. I came from China. Two years ago, I left my homeland to move to Pleasant to join my husband. Everything was new to me, especially English was the biggest obstacle. I couldn't speak in English and couldn't understand what other people said. Fortunately, there is a free ESL program in Pleasant Library. There are many activities in the program, such as English conversation class, public ESL class, and one-to-one -one English tutor. I joined the program. The literacy coordinator, Penny, did a lot of work for the program. In every public ESL class, she prepared interesting stories to teach us American culture. She taught us grammar and pronunciation. She also created many drills to improve our conversation skills. My one-to-one -one tutor, Connie Walker, is a great teacher. She is here tonight. She gives me a personalized program. She, she is very patient. She teaches me phonics one at a time. Her husband and her daughter also give many tips to help me. No updates. She asks me to learn 50 states in USA one by one. Through learning these states, I gradually know more about American history, geography, demography, economy, law, arts, and so on. Today, I can read, write in English and speak in English in front of you to, to tell you how wonderful Pleasant ESL program is. We all know Pleasant is a beautiful place, but I think the people here are the most beautiful. I would like to improve my English more so that I can contribute to the community. Thank you for your listening. <laughs> Good night. My name is Jenny Guzman. I am from Colombia. I came three years ago and I didn't know English, nothing at all. So um, I came because in my country we have a lot of issues, violence, and I have to run away from those problems and climb for political asylum. So I came, I didn't know English, and in order to get classes in college, it was so expensive, and I came without money. So I was living really close to the library, and I found that uh, the library have the uh, free conversation class. When I saw free, I was like, oh my God, thanks God. So I was coming to every single class, and I, remember, I don't remember the name for my first teacher. She was really old lady. And all the ladies in my class, they were old. And we were getting tea, and they were my first friends. And it was just this started. So the program gave me confidence. The program showed me that I could learn. And I am really thankful. It was the start. After that, after six months, I moved to the college. And I went through all the ESR program on Las Positas College. And I applied. My major is in education, and I applied to get my master at UC Berkeley, and I got in waitlist. So I I have to take uh, 12 more 12 more credits at Las Positas. I am taking this semester, and hopefully next semester I'm gonna get in UC Berkeley. So I got an email today for Penny, and she said, "Can you come and tell us your story?" I say, "Of course, I will do anything to show how wonderful is the program." at the library, because it was the greatest start. 
when I came to the library, and even though no one could understand what I was trying to say, um, they were helping me a lot. And I don't have words to say thank you. I, I am here um, to ask to keep supporting this program for all the immigrants that every day are coming to the United States. Thank you. I was just going to say, and, I, and, and I'm sorry if I'm stepping on your toes, if you could come to the podium and tell people how they can volunteer, those are such moving stories, and I'm sure there are people out there who would like to know how to get in touch with you so that they can volunteer their time for these wonderful people. Thank you for that opportunity. Yes, if you want to meet a group of amazing people, Please give me an email. Call me at the library. My name is Penny Johnson. I have a horrendously long email. It's my full name, Penny Johnson, at cityofpleasantonca.gov. But just call the reference desk at the library and ask to speak with me or leave me a message, and I will get back to you. And we take tutors all the time. Uh, it's a commitment of time, but the payback is huge. And what kind of qualifications? Could a student volunteer, a, a high school student volunteer to do this? Uh, at this time, I have one e extraordinary high school student. I am not opening it to high school students, but um, college students we use during their summer break. Um, but again, the precedent has been broken. I have this one kid who's absolutely fantastic. So uh, it would depend on the <laughs> it would depend on the high school student. <laughs> so yes, we always need more tutors. It would be great to have more volunteers. Thank, Thank you. you. So please stay right there. I'd like to read the proclamation. The city of Pleasanton proclaims September 2014 Adult Literacy Awareness Month. Whereas the citizens of Pleasanton value the productivity of our residents and whereas the productivity is greatly affected by the ability of our citizens to read and write and a correlation between literacy, productivity, and quality of life. And whereas the Pleasanton Public Library has utilized the service of volunteer tutors since 1985 <laughs> to increase literacy levels in Pleasanton by offering free private and group language literacy tutoring for adults and whereas the library's adult literacy and ESL program trains volunteers to provide literacy instruction to adults and to help adult literacy learners read to children, thus, bringing, thus helping to build a community of readers. And whereas the state of California has designated September as Adult Literacy Awareness Month, now therefore be it resolved that the city of the Pleasanton City Council hereby proclaims the month of September 2014 as Adult Literacy Awareness Month in Pleasanton, and in doing so, urges all citizens to support and encourage literacy. Dated this 19th day of August 2014, signed by the mayor and the city council. And we have Thank a problem. Let's take a picture. Yes, please. Okay, then we'll move on to item 18. Oh.